Okay, so I've done a little something different with my hair. I like it straightened, actually. I think it looks very becoming of myself. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be more of a uh, informational video. This is awkward because a little cut. Come here, you want to get in the video? Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so I'm babysitting, so. Little Trin Trin. This is Trin Trin. Say hi. Hey. Hey, look. You're right there. But this is going to be more of an informational type of video. Um, me and Miss Redbone 2010 have collabed together to bring you this video because I know that she was, um, well, she is, excuse me, on her weight loss journey and so am I. And I know it's getting that time where you feel like where you feel like you're pressured to just lose a little bit of weight because it's hot and it's the summertime. So um, I wanted to share with you guys some tips um, on yeah. dropping your first five pounds because those first five pounds are very important because beginning a weight loss journey is hard enough as it is because you you know you want results fast and I know that's how my mindset was like I really wanted to lose weight overnight when we both know like that is not possible at all like at all so um I want to help you guys be able to jump start your weight loss journey pretty much so I'm just going to share with you guys some tips that I have experienced so far I have lost six pounds um my goal is 30 pounds me and my boyfriend we both are um doing like a challenge we have six months to lose 30 pounds so yeah and I, what I want to do also is record like because I take Zumba every week I, w <laughs> I would like to record and um show you guys like how that goes and how you know like just basically a little mini vlog of you know showing you guys the dance moves and stuff that we do or whatever um I'll probably just ask the instructor if I could just set up a camera and point it towards myself and see what happens from there but anyway so to begin this I have two two methods actually um the first method would be just what I did um I ate three times a day but I did not eat any snacks this is just me I ate three times a day but I did not snack in between I just made sure what I ate was it wasn't super healthy I'm gonna be honest but I just made sure it, whatever it was I made sure it was full I didn't eat any fast food but I made sure that I ate breakfast lunch and dinner though I know some people have a hard time eating um breakfast but if you do just make you a smoothie or boiled eggs or something put that back or boiled eggs or something um so you eat your three meals and you do that obviously for a whole week and make sure the second thing you want to do is to exercise. I exercise four times a week, sometimes three times a week, just depending because my gym is like a 20-minute drive away from me. So I try to incorporate it within like work and school since they're all in that same area. But try to work out for at least, um, sorry, I have to keep my eyes focused on her. Try to work out for at least 30 minutes to an hour. I usually go for an hour and on the days that I have Zumba, I do about two hours, um, because the Y has like this really nice little uh, kiosk that helps you with your workout and all of that. So I like to do that too. Um, third is obviously drink plenty. And when I say plenty of water, just always drink water. Um, so that's pretty much it with the first way that you guys would should be able to achieve your five pounds. I'm no kind of... Um, physical fitness instructor or trainer or whatever I'm just your everyday college student just me you know um so um the second thing that I did was I don't know if you should call it a detox thank you if you want to call it a detox or what but it was basically a fast um me and my boyfriend we ate when the sun came up and then you eat um you eat until the sun comes up or until you're full, whichever comes first. And then you eat when the sun goes down, however much you want. And 
yeah, however much you want until you're full. Okay, so we did that. I did that actually for two weeks, but a week you could you will start to see a difference, obviously. Um, so um, again, this is just what I did, so you could just take it from there because I don't want anybody like to get all like sick and passing out and stuff. Because if you feel sick or you feel like you have to pass out, just stop. Just stop doing it because you know that's my little disclaimer. But um. You okay? No, you're not okay? Oh, Mommy. Yeah, Mommy. Where's Mommy? Drink your drink and eat your ice. Um, I don't know where I was at. But anyway, so um, do your fast. And then in between those fasts, what I did, like every other day, I took one of these. Give me a second. Ugh. I took one of these and this is called smooth mood and this is just like a herbal tea that makes you poop and um, this is great because it just gets out all of the poop that's backed up because to be honest I didn't never I never knew that when you poop it's not what you ate that day it's pretty much probably what you ate maybe a day or two ago so to just help you get that poop out and to not be so backed up as well as not to um, be so bloated definitely try this this is my go-to I love this stuff my mom actually put me on to this because being in the military she um, had to meet her weight though she's always been small but like because she's short she has to be a certain weight because she's like 50 and she's short so if she has to like you know trash a couple of pounds she'll like go to the smooth mood and she does some other crazy stuff too but um yes definitely smooth move it really 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 works and it's i wouldn't say it's gentler than your standard laxative but i mean it still kind of like hits you because i mean it is poop and when you have to poop you your stomach like alerts you and kind of gets all you know and my next thing within that little fasting kind of detox type of thing um green tea drink plenty of green tea i make a gallon jug of this stuff and i just drink it whenever i'm like fiending for some flavor or something of course i do mess up and i drink sodas every now and then but not often because i'm not a big soda fan i love juice huh mm -hmm. i love juice i have a problem with juice i just really really love juice so um i do mess up but to keep me on track i do love tea and i don't put any kind of sweetener in it i guess if you have to you could do like the Splenda or the other no cow sweetener oh my god trinity i love unsweet tea i love unsweet tea with lemon it's my favorite so that's why i think this is so easy for me to do and also with that fasting don't forget to work out working out is a must in order to achieve your um weight loss goal as well as eating right you always want to eat right because one hamburger from mcdonald's can just screw up your whole workout for the whole day so i know like um i've been down to 175 pounds before that's my smallest i've ever been in my life and i'm trying to get back to that weight that's my ultimate weight loss goal right now my my short-term weight loss goal would be i think i set it for like 10 pounds and I'm almost there I have four more pounds to go to that 10 and the next short term will be another 10 so um huh okay don't hold on I'm coming I'm coming okay come here okay but um yeah ultimately ultimately my long-term goal is to be back at 175 pounds and from there I would like to hopefully be 155 pounds because I'm short I'm 5'3 so I still still like have to get down to there because i think that's like the size that i'm actually supposed to be for my height because i'm like a short fat chick right now but yeah i hope this video was somewhat informal to you guys um special thanks to trend trend for her appearance today but um don't forget to go and check out miss rebel 2010's video i cannot i definitely cannot wait to see her because i'm always 
always looking for new um um diet tips and tricks or whatever you know what i'm saying so um also as far as foods um if you guys want to see like a food diary let me know i plan on filming one of those i wanted to do my zumba video so basically i wanted to this will be the first video to my weight loss journey um for you guys and i would like to share the experience with you all um if you have any kind of questions at all feel free to leave them down leave them down below and um i'll definitely get back to you guys um that's pretty much all for this video so hope you guys enjoyed this video again don't forget to go and check out miss redbone 2010's video i'll have her link to her channel as well as her video down below so until next time see you guys later bye